Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we'll see how we can create property decorators. So welcome to Visual Studio Code. I already created a value decorator which is our property decorator. One of the things that you will notice is that we have here a function target and property key and we don't have a property descriptor. So when you create a property decorator, you will have just a target and a property key. All right. All right. Then I create a class which has a property count with standard number of zero. Then I call this service and then you will have here service.count which is zero because we don't do anything with the count property yet. Now I can build this. When I now execute this function, you will see that our count is zero and that we have called evaluated and called. So now we can create some code to define our property, right? So in this case, we can say new number, number, and here we can say new number. Of course, here we need to put, for example, five. When I build this, and then execute this, you will see that our count value is five and not zero. So that's great, right? With our decorator, we can override our values of our properties. Now we can go one step further. We can very easily do that by, for example, create a values.json file. And in here, we can create our count. So we can create here count 25, for example, we save this. And then here we can say import from values dot json. But TypeScript doesn't like that. So we need to fix this, right? So we can read JSON files from within our TypeScript code. For that to work, we need to add typings dot d dot ts. And then we need to put following code there. We need to declare a module dot json with a const value and export default value, right? So we can very easily do wildcard as values from values.json. So we get our default value back as values. Nice, we don't have any issues there, right? Now, so we can very easily get count from our values.json file, right? And we do that as follow. We declare a new number um, variable, and then we ask to values, the count property, right? And then we can return new value, new number. We remove here new number. And 
and we remove here 5. So you can also very easily write setter. So whenever somebody wants to set a value to your property, you can add some crazy code in here to check certain things. This is handy, for example, for validation. But we can also find other use cases for that, right? All right, let's build the code. And now let's execute this. And you will see that count is 25. That's the value from our values.json file, right? Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.